Hi everyone and welcome back to another Adobe Live. It's here with Rachel Presky, illustrator and Karina. Like, hello, yourself. hello. <laughs> I'm an hello. illustrator as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, we're in fresco. Um, yeah, nice to see you all again in the chat. Um, if anyone, just some quick housekeeping, if anyone's on YouTube, if you want to come over to be.net slash Adobe Live, you can join in with the chat and um, come along with the conversation with everyone. Um, <clears throat> we've already got some uh, some troll people on the chat. So that's wonderful. <laughs> um, but yeah, so today we're, uh, we're, it's the first in a series of four with myself and Karina, and we're talking about um, portfolios, like how to pimp your portfolio really. So you know, get the projects that you want to be getting, um, things that you can include in it that art directors are looking for. Um, and that's where we're going to start today. So today we're going to talk about uh, GIFs and illustrate like animations that we can actually do in Fresco. And it's so easy. So I'm really excited to show you how to do it. Um, I know that lots of you on the chat have already been on streams with us where we've chatted about this, but it's more like using a, a brief that we've set ourselves and creating something from that. So is there anything else you want to add, Karina? Hmm, let me think about it. Um, yeah, um, we are curious what you would like to know when it comes to uh, setting up a nice portfolio. So please feel free to shoot any questions um, in our nice chat on Behance. Um, we would love to answer them all um, and yeah, we decided to um, create some GIFs in Adobe Fresco for the upcoming No Socks Day, which will be on the 8th of May. So, <laughs> there is you want to idea. join us. <laughs> we had, there was an idea, right? Yeah. Because the 8th of May is Mother's Day in Europe and I think the US yeah. as well. But we've already had Mother's Day in the UK, so... I was like, oh, I wonder what else is on that day. And then no socks day. So here we go. <laughs> and it will, be, it will be also a very nice creative challenge to do something that we both have never done before, like doing something for no socks day. Yeah. So feel free to join us. And Rachel, what do you have prepared already? <laughs> so I, <laughs> it's a silly one. And we did actually <laughs> say, like, just before this, we were like, I think the best gifts are like the really silly gifts. So this is where we're going with this. There is method. <laughs> so yeah, I've gone for, I had a look at like different um, gifts. I think they're sometimes called animated stickers Yeah. Um, that you can use on Snapchat and Instagram. And this was kind of our brief was say we had a client like Snapchat or Instagram themselves and they wanted some silly stickers animated things gifts that you can use <clears throat> on a story you know those kinds of things so I'm sure everyone's used them <laughs> um yeah I absolutely and I think it's it. such a nice way to kind of um add some final touch on a photo or story you want to share with the, within your community yeah. and yeah we'll bring awareness to a day yeah <laughs> Um, I will just um, add some uh, how we did it or how we uh, got it started. So I will quickly jump to my Behance because we decided to create a shared mood board where we um, collected all the nice stickers we found. And um, yeah, it's so simple and easy to collaborate um, within Behance and to create a nice mood board together. So um, check it out. It's, it's a very nice possibility to um, involve different people um, within one project and to work together. Yeah, and I so, think the projects on Behance are so like clean as well. So you know, it's a bit different to using like Pinterest for inspiration. Like you just get yeah, you get exactly. much of everything, don't you? But this is like client projects that people have used and I found it so useful to go through and see like oh this is the kind of thing that we'd need for that kind of project yeah 
exactly so um i think this one is very nice uh, let's have a quick jump into it so that's exactly what i what i really like because i mean that's a real animation but our whole animation not just the sticker but i think it's it's, it shows perfectly um, the nice features of um, adding some motion to your illustrations. And I love how like silly that one is. Well. Yeah. It's fun, isn't it? Like the colors and everything. Yeah, it's very nice. <laughs> also, these ones are um, super simple, but also uh, playing around with colors and also with um, different fonts. Yeah. So as you can see, they're just simple um, animated um, bits. Yeah, and I think some of these you could use like After Effects for, but Fresco is just super easy to. Yeah. So if you want to have a look, um, I think our um, shared folder is um, open for everyone. So you can hop on uh, Rachel or my Behance profile, and then you can um, have a look mood board. on our mood board. Yeah. Cool. But I think let's jump right into our sketches. <laughs> <laughs> because time is running, you know. True. So how did you approach this project? Like after, after you looked at those, um, ideas um i thought about okay what stickers do i want to use and <laughs> and so i was sketching uh, a few very rough ideas and then i was also adding some motion to um, some sketches cool. i can show you this one for example this is actually my favorite is um i created a font <laughs> so, really yeah fun. Ah, nice. Yeah, and I just made it this animated sketch. Um, as you can see, there are just um, four frames. It's a very simple one. Then I made another one. <laughs> also just a <laughs> simple movement. Oh, yeah. yeah. well, they're cool. And then I prepared this one because I think everyone knows the problem with single socks. Yeah, I think there's going to be a discussion about that. Yeah. Nobody has matching socks. So maybe we can also start a single sock club. Mm. On the back. The back of the no socks. Yeah. If you've only got one, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, so I think like the typographic um, GIFs work really well. I yeah. know like when you sent this over, I noticed that that was um what well, like a lot of the ones that you've done are all typographic and like it me makes people respond to it really well um and then I, the thing is when I first like thought about this I just was like people's feet are really disgusting <laughs> yeah. so I was trying to think of like funny ways to like draw people's feet but then again like I think the typographic stuff in this instance works really well because feet can be disgusting <laughs> Yeah, so my for my ones, I the first one I did was this <coughs> uh, no socks day. I'm gonna wait for it to come up, um, which is just a little wiggly um, no socks day sketch, and I just thought you know something really simple to start with um, for us to all play with. All I did was like six frames, and it just goes backwards and forwards. And I think they just like, because it's, it doesn't need to be complicated. Yeah. For a gift. And I think it's also very nice um, talking about portfolios um, that you include work you want to share and you want to get hired for. So um, I think it's also very um, clever to, um, yeah, think about the best work you can show and also the work you want to create in the future as well. Oh. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> I've just gone through my portfolio actually and ditched a load of old work that just doesn't fit with my style anymore. Mm -hmm. And it's been really like cathartic. Oh, it feels really nice now. 
I have like my works come from very muted colors to more recently quite bright and fun. And that's the work I want to be paid for. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I've done. Um, and yeah, it's been great. <laughs> that's something else like with the portfolio, it can change all the time and you can ditch stuff. So it doesn't yeah. work as long as, and as well, I've, so like I had a project where I think it might still be on there, but I think it's in the process of me ditching it. I, I did a project with the British Red Cross and I was like, they're an amazing company. Like I really enjoyed working with them and it was for International Women's Day. But actually moving on, the work that I did for them wasn't what I wanted to be hired for. But mm -hmm. it means that I can like, I was like, I still work for them. I can put it on my client list, but ditch it off my portfolio because I don't want to be hired for that. Yeah. So that's, it's been nice but <laughs> What would you say is a no-no when it comes to portfolios? I think you have to make sure you've got your own work on your portfolio. You know, sometimes yeah. you can be inspired by people, um, but as long as you're not copying. So yeah. That's a massive no-no. No copying. <laughs> um, you know, it, and it takes a while to get your own style, but you, you'll get there. As long as you're, like, true to yeah. yourself and true to uh, the way that you work. Yeah, I think so, too. I think that's also the biggest no-no for me, um, to copy someone someone's work. I mean, it's like you said, you can always be inspired by something or someone. And I mean, we constantly are inspired by everything that surrounds us. But yeah. um, it's very important to show your own work and to um, show your own artistic voice. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, if anyone's got any questions about portfolios, send them our way in the chat. And we'll yeah. do our best to answer them. Um, based on our experiences, which might not always be the same. Um, so, it's okay. so I will start working on the one with the um, <laughs> sock font. <laughs> I will create a sock font. So I was gonna, this is my like, I think it's still on the screen, but I was my idea for this illustration. This is really silly. Um, I think I clean it up once I've got further along. But I'm gonna. Um, my idea for this was like to flick the sock off. So <laughs> he's bent his knee, flick his sock off, and the other one is what. <laughs> That's where I'm going with this. <laughs> and it, an animation. Yeah. Sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> See if it works. <laughs> yeah well, you're going for the typographic one you said yeah I will um, create my own sock font <laughs> nice <laughs> <laughs> that. so clever um, and I think when it comes to um, self-initiated projects or portfolio work um It's also nice to um, talk about it with other people and to um, maybe find someone else you want to team up with, like we did now, like Rachel yeah. and I, and to um, yeah give each other um, a creative brief as well, because it's it's very nice to to um, talk about the different um, approaches and. Um, different um, inputs and where you get your inspiration from and also you can um, get some nice feedback yeah, if you share exactly. your work. Feedback is so useful as well for yeah. creatives in general, I'm sure you all know. Um, yeah, this I think it makes, makes my world go around. It makes life a lot easier when someone's saying, oh, why didn't you do this? Like I had someone feedback to me today actually on my bio on my website and she was like that bit's really good but maybe you could make your um images sing a bit better and I was like, actually she's right so mm -hmm. you know a little bit of feedback 
Yeah. Yeah, how well can... <laughs> uh, they always Be open think... for feedback. That's a very good tip. Yes. I think. It's true. Never was in toys. <laughs> so I think we do have. Um, let's have a look at some of the questions. <clears throat> Sandrine says a big no-no is typos. That's, I agree with that. Yep. They frustrate me so much. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> really it is. <laughs> um, so the tricky thing is when you're working with a big client, but the work you do for them is not really exciting. You need to refrain from showing the name instead of showing the work. <clears throat> But I, I think from my perspective, um, if I don't have, if, it, if the work isn't that exciting, I don't really want to show it on my portfolio. Um, so I just would say, I've got a bit in my portfolio on my website under about me, and it says a client list. And I think if you're working for a bigger client, it gives you clout to say that you've worked with them, but not necessarily have to show it on your portfolio if it doesn't fit with. Yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. And I think you can always um, share some um, snippets or behind the scenes um, on social media, but you don't have to necessarily show it as a nice case on your portfolio website or Behance. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, I am... And you can change. I think that's it. Kirsty said, when you publish your Behance portfolio, can you still add to it? The answer is yes. <laughs> Not sure how. <laughs> no, so, so, so Stuart's saying some employees are looking for how you think of her. They want to see the process more than the final. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that in some ways, but also, like, some of the clients I've had, I don't know if you've had this, but they'll come to you and have an idea already, and they'll have seen something in your work, in your portfolio, that they think, oh, that would work. <laughs> um, and that's it. I don't know if that happens to you. They say, can you do this, but with this idea? sometimes that happens <laughs> but I think um, most of the time also clients hire you because of your personality as well yeah so I think it's always um, a good idea to share something on social me- media or a more personal approach on how you work and how um, you structure your projects because that's sometimes also very interesting for clients to see yeah, that's true. How you go about it? I feel like like art directors are amazing at their job, but sometimes if they're looking at your work, they want to see kind of almost exactly what they're getting. Yeah. Um, at the end of it, so that is something I've come across. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Um, sorry I'm reading reading questions <laughs> yeah. uh, I think yeah oh, but there is a lot going on in the chat ah. Melanie is here hi Melanie Hello. and Doris Kirsty so good to see everyone Stefan Sandrine nice yeah so Sandrian saying as well some people are very literal um if you want to show they want to know the exact thing that they're going to get which is true oh I didn't want My, this is my really, really silly illustration. I 
can't wait to see the anime. finished animation. It's not really working that well. <laughs> but that's just my <laughs> skills, I think, more than anything. Um, that's it. Kick off your socks. I'm gonna go this one. Add some extra frames in, and I think it would look better. So, how do you go about animating stuff normally? Mm, I don't do so much animated stuff at the moment, um, but I want to focus on it a little bit more because it's really fun. Yeah. And. <laughs> Um, and I think it's also totally on trend right now so people um, from the industry are really looking for um, illustrators with some um, animation skills as well yeah and I, I think, think yeah. that's a great fit to um, anyone's portfolio yeah I agree so I um, had a editorial project actually quite recently I was quite surprised about but they have an, a digital version of their magazine and they wanted um some animated bits within mm -hmm. the page so I, it was a dog pets magazine so it was like a dog walking and wagging its tail but it's so that when the reader sees it on a digital format it's it moves and I, I like I've never experienced that before I don't know if you've had but it's obviously important for them which is pretty cool yeah yeah and I think it's um also very important when it comes to your own um growing or yeah, yeah growing process as an artist to or um illustrator to um be open for uh, new possibilities and also to um challenge yourself as well yeah. with every project. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's also when it comes to um, when clients are booking you for your personality as well, because if you get um, a proposal for um, some exciting new project and you're not open to uh, any any new suggestions as well, yeah. then I think they won't hire you. But if you say, yeah, I've never done this before, but I can do it and I want to yeah. try it, then I think they are also um, excited to see what you will create as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. This isn't working. <laughs> <laughs> what else is the problem? It just looks so silly. Ugh. I can't wait to see. <laughs> All our lovely no such day animation. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, let's go back. Cool. Whee! Bye bye, socks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, this is so silly, isn't it? I don't know how often you draw feet either. I'm not someone who draws feet very often. <laughs> Because like hands, I just try and get away from them as much as possible. Yeah, you have to get used to it. Yeah. I have to say. <laughs> These are so silly. Oh dear. <sighs> oh, oh, there's more questions. Oh, dear. says oh yeah so Stuart's saying about like some of the branding projects will be different they'll want your thought process which I think is very true with illustration I guess it depends what you do but I've had yeah people come to me and say oh I really like this piece of your work on Instagram probably but yeah also hopefully for your brain don't know <laughs> Yeah, um, if there's no socks now, we could. <laughs> I'm gonna go past Sean's comment. Um, ah, saying great work on my shop illustration. That was something that I came up with an idea about. <laughs> so, yeah, um, 
I recently I did a mural for Vans. That was so lovely. Amazing project. Thank you. Congrats. It was very, very nice. Great. Like that was a really nice credit because they just came to me and said, you can do anything you want. <laughs> I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't get that very often. So I kind of took that one back to my roots of I came like have a background in kind of action sports. So I was like, oh, I'm going to use stuff that I really enjoy watching, which is skateboarding, to use that for the brief, which was very exciting. And it worked for Vans. I don't think I could have done that with any other client. <laughs> um, But have you done something like this before? Drawing it, on glass or... Um, I had it. Window? So the only thing oh, I'd done one for vans before um, mm -hmm. which was a different that had a proper brief and there's a lot of toing and throwing on that one um but the one the first mural I did was this one behind me well I think it was the second but I don't really count the first one. um and like I, I did it to show and actually this was my own brief too so it's a personal project which I've put in my portfolio too, to show that I can work at that scale. Um, so that's something else to do. If you want to get into murals and you've got a wall in your house that you can paint, do it. <laughs> do it, definitely And I think it's because it. it showed that I could do it. Then I got commissioned to create those ones for bands. So nice. Yeah, so it worked quite nicely. It's always worth just getting on with it. <laughs> But it's a good example on, and shows perfectly that it really pays off if you are um, open to try new things and to also create just work for yourself. Yeah, exactly. And put it in your portfolio. Yeah. That is exactly right. <laughs> if you have the time to, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit crazy, isn't it? Okay, so we have socks with dots. <laughs> uh, we need some socks with stripes, right? What's your favorite pair of socks? Mm. Great question. <laughs> <laughs> Now you know, I'm a member of the single sock club. So <laughs> I prefer just black ones. Oh, that's not fun though, is it? No. <laughs> I like that though, it's funny. I have loads of different pairs. Of, I've, I actually have some, I can't remember what brand they are. But they sell odd socks, so it doesn't matter. I think that's a good way of doing it. <laughs> leather branding <laughs> yeah but i love my cycling socks they're super comfortable but they're not black <laughs> <laughs> i have to take care of them oh, i bet they're really expensive socks as well oh. yeah but they're very yes. comfortable <laughs> Always i worth love it. them <laughs> well who just thought we'd have these conversations on a lot yeah. Part of the research. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, it's true then. Hmm. I have like a lot of. Sorry, I should turn my computer off. I have a lot of um, different pairs of socks, and like you say, they're normally on their own. I have a, a what I I call them my lonely sock cupboard. I have a little lonely socks box, which I keep. And then every couple of weeks, I'll go through and try and pair them up again. But and? Sometimes they have paired. Oh, perfect. <laughs> If they're there for like a year, I'm like, okay, fine. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> It's time to move on. Yeah. Oh, I haven't told anyone that before, my lonely sock box. 
This is really silly. Oh, people are talking about socks in here. This is great. Yeah, you have to challenge yourself as well. Yeah. Sandrine is saying personal work is sometimes the only way to try new things. Very true. I agree. And also to show what you want to be um, working on as well. Yeah. Ah, stance socks. They're good. Yeah, they're, they're, they're also very comfortable and they um, have great designs too. Yeah, they do. I had some really good ones from there. Mm -hmm. Good ski socks as well. <laughs> and there, oh, Sandrine says Muji do some good socks. Right angle socks. Never gather around your toes. Oh, look at this conversation. <laughs> Oh dear, what have we bought? This is, a, I've just done some very silly drawings. Uh, but who knows? Maybe Stance will hire us. Yeah. Their next stickers. I that's mean. a good point. Maybe that's what we should have um, had as our client. <laughs> Stance socks. Oh, yeah, I would love to do some stickers for them. So yeah, that'd be awesome. Why not? Ooh, maybe we'll contact them and send them our gifts after this. <laughs> that was well. yeah, if anyone's got any portfolio questions as well, send them over. Um, I think I'm done my animation now. <laughs> so silly. But Got some socks coming off, it's kicking them off. End of the day. He's had a great day. He's kicking his socks off. I can't wait to see your <laughs> animation. <laughs> really, really. I think I'm trying to figure out how to, I, I think I probably just don't know if there's a way of making some of the frames last longer or mm -hmm. unless I just duplicate them. Do you know? Um, yeah, you can, um, set the speed ah. of the frame. So, yeah. um, in the so I want some the of the frames to last for longer, that's fine. So, that one. <laughs> you know, oh, okay, so that makes sense. Probably not. Um, Yeah, I think that's worked. So I've duplicated a couple of frames if I want it to stay on the frame for a bit longer. So, you know, like a, I'm kicking legs out, so if it goes. <laughs> but I think then you have to just um, copy the frame. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Duplicate. Maybe that's the, so then that's some kind of <laughs> cheating, but. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Extra silly. Um, cool. Okay. Doki, so I'm done with my rough coloring. <coughs> nice. For my sock font. <laughs> that's what Sandrine is saying. Something that's been debated to death already. <laughs> How many pages slash work would you aim to include in a PDF portfolio? Also, is there a high hierarchy of work to be presented? The best at the top or mixed? I could probably answer this. But I have a PDF portfolio that's um, four pages long. And it's the first page is just, you know, like a fun drawing illustration. The, set, the second page is about me. The third page is work. And that is my best work, the work that I want to be high for. Um, but also you can have different um, 
portfolios for different clients. So for in a, as an illustrator, you might have like a editorial portfolio and a more like packaging or murals or whatever you want to go along that line. And then I've got a third page, which has got all my contact information. Did hear a really good tip when you do a portfolio PDF to include um, your contact information on every sheet. Um, but I think for me, a PDF portfolio should be like quite concise, show your best work, and then they can go to your website if you have one to show everything else. Yeah. I think exactly the same. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I think you can have different portfolios for different um, clients. Yeah. And I think for me, it's just for me, my kind of uh, golden rule, don't show more than six projects. Yeah. Never. I think four is nice. At least three to four, but really your best work when it comes to sending out in PDF. Yeah. But never, ever more than six because, you know, you want to... Um, be respectful with people's time and um, also you really want to show your best work yeah. when you show too much um, maybe it also gives the client the feeling that you're not um, very sure about your work or not or you are a little bit insecure maybe yeah what to show and it's um, it's not the impression you want to make Right. So it's all about the first impression. Show your best work and um, yeah, totally do it. Just um, say, hi, that's me. That's my best work. I want to work with you. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. And then, yeah, you can yeah. show different, you can have different portfolios. Say, because yeah. I don't, you know, if you're sending something to an editorial client, they're not going to care that you've done a mural. It's not interesting to what they need to see and also like you say they've not got a lot of time <laughs> yeah and the more the easier you can make their life the more yeah. likely they are to hire you really and i mean um at the end of the day you really want to stand out so um it doesn't make sense to send them 10 to 20 projects no exactly Em is here. Hello, Emma. Oh, hello. Ah, and I also saw Danny is here too. <laughs> hello, yeah. hello. Team Adobe. Some familiar faces. Yeah. Sandrine says um, hers is around 10 pages, but she has different, two different portfolios. I think it depends what kind of clients you're looking at as well, because I think like a graphic design portfolio might need to be more. Yeah. If you're looking like purely from illustration point of view because well that's what we do <laughs> um so there's only show on a pdf portfolio okay and some that's protected by an end oh wow this is complicated i haven't so there's there's work i think i said earlier as well i've culled a lot of stuff in my uh portfolio i did a animation project for the NHS, which was a really cool project to work on, but absolutely none of it can be shown on my portfolio. So I get it. Um, it's not always easy to share everything. Um, and that was because it was about, um, like the subject matter wasn't really okay to be sharing with everyone. So. It's hard when that happens, though. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, some of it is protected. Some silly thoughts. How are you getting on? Um, just adding some final touches. Ooh. And then. I will start to add some motion. Very exciting. So you're at the good bit. What about you? 
Uh, well, I'm only on this first one and we've got 20 minutes left, so wonderful. Ah. No, so I'm, I'm sticking to like a really restricted colour palette, I've just decided. It's one that I've used in quite a lot of my recent work, so like just this kind of orangey colour and a yellow colour. Um, and then I think, actually, I hadn't thought about this until now, but because this is a gift project, colours need to be aligned, don't they? So it'd be nice to keep um, the same colour scheme across all yeah. of the gifts to make them talk to each other. Um, yeah. Same with, do you do that with the rest of your work? Or would you say? Mm, yeah, I think so. I mean, it totally makes sense. Also, if you want to um, create a nice uh, project case in the end, then it makes sense to talk about your color scheme and how you um, defined all your colors and um, why you choose this or, or this blue or red. So yeah. it makes sense to... Um, guide your future clients a little bit through your process as well yeah cool i think i tend to use like quite similar color palettes across all my work so for me it ends up being like ah oh, you know what you're getting <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean i also love to use bright colors and so I think if your style is consistent, then um, clients will also book you yeah. for your um, color scheme and also for um, your um, style. Yeah, style or specific, um, yeah, artistic style. Yeah. yeah, style. Style is the right word. Yeah, I think color scheme goes within that style as well. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I think so too. The way you use color and things like that. So, so now I will just give them a little bit more space. They're saying they've got awesome socks. <laughs> Is that my lonely socks? Lonely socks club. <laughs> no. Oh dear. <clears throat> Maybe that's something. Another one. Lonely socks club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's that? My poor song. I think when it uh, comes to um, setting up a nice portfolio, it's also very important to um, think about um, your absolute dream project or dream client as well. So if you want to work for sustainable brands, for example, then it makes no sense to include some projects for fast fashion brands, <laughs> for example. Yeah. Mm. yeah exactly. Definitely agree with that. I think it's quite hard to keep within your, um, like I, so I had this example of a project recently that it was bought to me by an old agent, but so they, I've worked with them a couple of times, but I've looked into what they believe mm -hmm. and what they promote on their website. And I didn't realize until I've worked with them again recently, that it really doesn't align to my beliefs at all. And um, mm -hmm. I found that quite hard. I don't yeah. know if you've ever experienced that, um, but yeah. I, I had to take the decision that I won't be working with them again because of that. Um, and actually, <clears throat> it's not something that I've ever like thought about that I'd have to worry about. Um, have you ever had to like potentially work with a company that 
you didn't believe in or didn't... yeah i think it would be also very interesting to um get some input um from the chat as well because i think it's also very important for um when it comes to portfolio or when it comes to um, starting out as an illustrator to um, get feedback within your community. And yeah, I mean, I think it's um, yeah very important to uh, keep that in mind where you want to go and where you um, would like to see yourself in a few years. Hmm. And also, stick, and, yeah, so what, like I try and stick to my core beliefs. Yeah. As I think, ugh, I hate turning projects down, but it doesn't align to it. I think <laughs> principles are more important sometimes. I yeah. wonder if anyone else has thought that as well. Yeah, I um, always block a day. So every three or four months, um, I block a whole day in my calendar for... Um, updating my website and portfolio oh, that's a good because idea. otherwise it's a never-ending story yeah and that's something you tend to shift yeah like um from this week to the next week and then yeah. something important yeah. comes in and then you're like okay i can do this the, this the next week yeah and yeah and then you end up um with no updated portfolio in yeah. the end and yeah that's not good so yeah. I try to um, to do this. And I think, um, I don't know uh, who was it, who, who gave me this tip, but it was very helpful. Yeah. I think I've been in a similar way been doing that. But as soon as I invoice a project, I've now been, if I want to add it to my website, I'll put it on straight away. So I'll have that, mm -hmm. like, um, I've been pretty good at it recently. If you've got a thousand things to do, it doesn't really work, does it? Um, but yeah, my recently I have managed to sit down, do my portfolio, same time as I sent my invoice, done. Then I don't have to worry about it. Nice. I don't know, but I don't know how I've done it. So I've got too much time. <laughs> yeah, I think it's um you have to create your own workflow when it comes to this. So you have to get comfortable with what works best for you. And Yes. yeah melanie also says in the chat postponing postponing um portfolio updates story of her life <laughs> so when when you have time this is <laughs> uh, yeah no yeah i mean i think i'm oh my god there's so many random questions in here <laughs> how often yeah i'd say i do it i do it as soon as i can I don't go across everything. So like I have, I'm not so great at updating my Behance portfolio. I looked at it the other day and I was like, oh God, these projects are very out of date. So um, that's some next on my list to do. How do you find that? Do you have, have a portfolio across different platforms? So like mm. Behance and... Yeah, I try to... Um to update my Behance portfolio um, on a regular basis. But um, I don't know how this is like in uh, within the UK, but in Austria, people tend to um, have a look on your website. Yeah. So I think it's, it's necessary to have both and also to uh, update your Instagram yeah. or socials. So whatever you want to use. Yeah. But yeah. I think that's what I find hard, like updating everything. Yeah. <laughs> like I can put it on my website, but then I'm like, oh my God, I've got share it on Instagram, share it on yeah. other places, Twitter. So I've actually found quite a bit of work on Twitter, which has been quite handy. Yeah. Me as well. Yeah, it's random, isn't it? But then I always forget to share on Twitter too so it's like a ah. it's just too many places I have to say I really like Twitter yeah mm. it's so easy to use and I like it more than TikTok for example yeah 
So TikTok's, TikTok is not really for me. And I mean, yeah, I think um, everyone has to find something that um, feels natural and also comfortable to um, update. Yeah. And I think, um, yeah, it's, it's also a matter of how you want to um, share your work or you want to um, be seen as well. Because in my case, TikTok is not for me because I don't want to um, talk to the camera all the time. I just yeah. want to take some snaps <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm working. <laughs> And that's yeah, it. I agree. But for some people, it really works and they are doing great. So... <laughs> Yeah. I think you just have to fig to to find out what works for you. And yeah, I mean, to MySpace. If only that was still around. MySpace. Yeah. Don't say you don't know what MySpace is. But MySpace is kind of dead, right? Oh no. yeah. Only that still Does exists. It still exist? I don't know. Hmm. I'll have, have a look at that later. <laughs> Um, nice. that's true people on Twitter are very good at uh, normally very good at writing that's not one of my strong points I think or funny I don't know if you find that it depends yeah yeah I think I... sometimes it's easy sometimes it's hard Yeah, I feel like I should be funny on Twitter and then I'm like, oh, that's not me. <laughs> yeah. And then I understand completely as well. I really struggle to, even though we do these things, I really struggle to talk to the camera on like Instagram or... <laughs> Silly, isn't it? Yeah. It's just so many options. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes you, you just have to do it to find out if it's really for you or not. Like, yeah, exactly. Okie dokie, I think. There's so much. I'm I done. do this every time. I'm like, oh yeah, I've got loads of time. I'm going to chat and then <laughs> rush it all. And it's also so rushed anyway. I put a lot more effort into this. <laughs> I think I need to spend another hour to make mine look good. <laughs> no. Oh dear. <sighs> I can't wait to see it. No, it's no when they're done. No, we're not seeing it. <laughs> But <laughs> if some of you um, would like to uh, join us for No Socks Day, creating some awesome <laughs> gifts, um, feel free to share them after the yeah. stream and also to tag us if you share it on your socials. Um, <laughs> I'm curious to see um, what other options are still in the pipeline. <laughs> no socks day. <laughs> for no socks day that's it as well i think what's really cool i like to see different people doing coming up with different ideas yeah i guess that's exactly where the creators come like oh uh, <laughs> don't know how to explain it see this is when i say i'm not very good with words <laughs> um <laughs> this is why twitter doesn't work that well for me um, <laughs> Uh, yes. You understand what I mean, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> It's I'm cool so excited. <laughs> But you know, you can just share some pictures on Twitter as well. So yeah. you don't have to say yeah, that. You much. need to write something just about it. Some hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think um, what um, also can be a very good tip for some of you is to um, have your own hashtag. Uh -huh. um, I think that's also something um, which is very nice to, um, yeah, to own your own hashtag. Mm -hmm. I think I started doing that and then forgot about it. Yeah, do it. I think yeah. it's... Um... <laughs> Tim is making some fun in the <laughs> chat. Yeah, that's what I keep saying. New kid on the sock. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yeah, oh boy band. What were we thinking? 
Oh, you lose all your money on the sock market. <laughs> it's like really bad dad jokes. <laughs> oh. Anyway. <laughs> so I'm not even close and we've got five minutes. How are you doing? Right. <laughs> but oh, now I can see your progress. Nice. A sock. <laughs> I'm kind of, I keep going in and locking my transparency, colouring it in. So I'm, instead of making loads of layers, which I think uh, I get really confused by them, I'm just trying to do it all on one layer. Because it's a GIF as well, it doesn't need to be like amazing quality or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, I think when it comes to um, this brief, um, it's nice to concentrate on the simple things and also to um, don't try to uh, use too much texture or um, shading because it will get lost. Yeah, and they're tiny, aren't they? So even like on a, you know, a phone yeah. screen, like they're going to be... Yeah, you know, makes no sense. Like an inch, if that. And I mean, you can also try to add some um, specific things from your style, like I did with the, um, as you once described it as squiggly bits. Yeah. <laughs> so, I love your so, squiggly bits. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it's also nice to um, try to include something that makes you special and also your style specific um, yeah. into... Everything. whatever project you have to do yeah i definitely agree this is why i was trying to so i was going through and i was like i don't really do typography in mm -hmm. most of my work that's why i wanted to do something that was like a more yeah. figurative so like a person which is most of my work has people in it so it's exactly where i was going with this too <laughs> yeah yeah i can't wait to see your final suck and oh, <laughs> it is it, it needs refining we're gonna go with that <laughs> So, Sandrine says she knows it's Karina when she sees the lines. Oh, you squiggly Biggest compliment. Line. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Tim says uh, we can upload it to Adobe Sock. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, that's bad. So, if any of you have some very, very um, important portfolio tips, please. Oh yeah. Right, it's in the chat. Yeah, yours as well. um, we're curious uh, if you have um, some more questions for us, you would like to get an answer um, to. So feel free to put it in the chat. And this is, this is, we're going to we have two, two more three. minutes to go. Ah! Hey, we're going to be doing three other uh, portfolio yep. uh, projects, really, that you can all join along with. Um, exactly. And so the next should... one will be. So much fun because we will create some um, packaging illustration for a chocolate brand. Bitch. Whoop, whoop. I mean, I'm sad that we also eat very all. nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this will be a very nice portfolio project as well. So if you're into illustration and chocolate, <laughs> join us <laughs> for the next one. Packaging. I love packaging. packaging. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Only two minutes left on the sock. Great. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Did you see that on the sock? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Am I going to get there? Let's see. Ah. So, duplicate this. I've got one minute. And then the sock's off. Socks are off. That sounds like a different pun. <clears throat> I'm probably not going to finish. <laughs> um, oh, but I just see, uh, can see a little snippet of the work. I have to wait, I guess. <laughs> ah! Oh gosh, I messed it up. I wanted to. Re oh, no. Here we go, though. So nice. I'm going to miss the last frame, but yes. you get the idea. Final touches. The sucks off. Oh, it doesn't work without the last one, does it? Wow. Today, off comes your socks. 
Yeah, nice. Kicking his socks off. So I think it needs a lot of detail and refining. Yeah. <laughs> we'll share it on Instagram, the hands, all of those things. Perfect. I think we're in two weeks' time. I think so, yeah. On Tuesday, so we'll see you all then. See you for the next portfolio um, stream. Um, anyone... Feel free to collect your questions yeah. for the next stream. Um, we are always here to answer all your questions when it comes to portfolio or um, illustration. And thanks so much for the nice time with you all in the chat. And thank you, Rachel, for creating this wonderful sock uh, gift stream <laughs> with me. It was so much fun. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Tim says with the soulmates. What a great one to end on. <laughs> Yay. So see you soon and have a nice day. And thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks. Bye-bye.